Hi and welcome students. In this video I'll be working in PowerPoint 2016 and I'm going to show you how to apply effects to your shapes. Let's go ahead and get started. So you can see that I have a PowerPoint slide displaying here and I have two circles on my slide showing text within them. To draw this circle you'd have to go to the insert tab and you'd go to the illustrations group and click shapes. Now to draw a circle in PowerPoint a lot of people get confused because you cannot find a circle shape within here. However if you look up here towards the top or in your basic shapes right there the second one over you'll see oval. Alright well if you click on oval you'll notice that now when you hover over your slide you have the black plus sign meaning you're ready to draw your shape. And so if I click and drag I could then draw a shape that looks like a circle, but how do I know if it's a perfect circle? Well, I have to hold down shift while I drag, and if I hold down shift, it'll make it a perfect circle. So that's one way to create a shape inside of PowerPoint. Another way to do it, and I'm just going to delete this shape here, if I wanted this exact circle with this circle's formatting over here, I'm going to click on the shape and do a control C to copy. Okay, so that's hold down control on your keyboard and press C to copy, and then control V as in Victor to paste. Alright, so that will recreate the shape. Now I can go ahead and click in the shape and I can type anything that I want within the shape. Uh, since I already have text here, I'm going to uh, triple click the text to select all of it. Oops, there we go. Two, three. There we go. And then I'm going to type in learn more. Alright, well now I need to place this shape into the perfect spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag from somewhere in the middle of the shape, but not perfectly in the middle where my text is. So right here looks okay. Anywhere where I see the four black directional arrows. Then I click and drag and now you can see that as I move over certain spots, guides show up. These smart guides allow you to perfectly place your shapes onto the page in the spot that makes the most sense. So in this case, it's perfectly aligned to the left and right of the shapes above it and then you can see the guides ab directly above the shape show that it's perfectly spaced in between them. Perfect. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to insert an arrow here that points to this uh, screenshot. So now I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'll go to the illustrations group and again I'll choose shapes and these are ready-made shapes such as circles, squares, and arrows. Now I click on that and now I can choose arrows. Now some people see lines over here and those aren't really as effective as arrows. Those are good for things like flowcharts. But I'm going to go down here to the block arrows group and choose arrows right. And so I choose that and now I see the black plus sign so I'm ready to draw my arrow. So I'm going to click and drag to draw my arrow right in here. Now you can see that if I hold down shift it will keep the arrow, arrow perfectly uh, to the default aspect ratio that Microsoft has provided. But I want this one to be a little bit blockier, so I'm not going to hold down shift on this one. And I'll go ahead and I'll create it just so it looks like that. Now notice that it's not perfectly within the middle of what I'm trying to do. Um, it's not lined up perfectly with get started over here. But what I also want to do is I want to make it the exact same color. So now I'm going to apply effects to this shape. So let's go ahead and do that. So you'll notice that anytime that you have your shape selected, up here in the drawing tools format tab, you're going to see the shape styles group. Now this shape style is the one that it's currently selected and it's called colored filled dark red accent one. But if I want to see a whole gallery of different shape uh, styles, I could click this more button in the bottom right of the gallery. And then it's going to open up this. And sticking with the red theme, I can move through these to choose the exact one that it is, which is dark or moderate effect dark red accent one. So I choose that. And notice that that is the same as all of those other ones. Now I knew this because if I were to click on this shape and hover over the spot that it is, it'll tell me the exact same thing. So that's how you could check your shape styles. Now I want to basically move my arrow down so that it lines up perfectly with everything else. So once again, I'm going to use the smart guides to do this. And you can see that all of the smart guides guide me directly to the middle of the screenshot, which is also the middle of the shape. And it's perfectly aligned in the middle of the two. So that's how you you apply an effect and uh, change the um, the size as well as the alignment of your shape. Now keep in mind you could also go to shape fill to change the inner color of the shape. So you can see as I hover over different ones it changes to whatever I hover over. I could go to shape outline which will just change that outline color. You can barely see it on here but if I hover over something like white you could see it right there. 
and then finally shape effects. Now where do these shape styles come from? They come from predetermined effects. You can do shadows, reflections, glow, soft edges, bevel, and 3D rotation to any of your shapes. And as you can see when you hover over them, it changes all of the effects. So there we go. That's a little bit about effects within PowerPoint 2016 when it comes to applying them to shapes. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure you check out my PowerPoint 2016 playlist. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.